Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you a crystallized Acadian trees guide. So basically what is crystallize? Well, it's a Saren spell that increases your XP by 50%, but it gets you no resources. So you basically target any resource node and then it'll turn it crystal. I'll explain later how it works. So yeah, the requirement for this is you need the light within quest complete. And so in order to access this location, you need to complete the Jack of Spades quest so you can access Menaphos. You also must be on Ancient Prayers and Ancient Magics. I would highly recommend you have Tier 8 Reputation in the Imperial District, but it's not really needed if you have a high woodcutting level, because what happens is you get a higher success rate for cutting the Acadian trees. I also suggest you complete Sliski's Endgame quests, because you get this really awesome reward that gives you a set effect, and I'll explain later how it works. So Acadia trees are located in Menaphos, in the Imperial District. It's directly west of the Lodestone, and it's south of the VIP area. The spot I'm using is south of the pool, because there are two Acadia trees really close nearby, just in case you accidentally deplete one of yours. So yeah, let's get into my equipment setup. I would suggest you bring a Nature Sentinel outfit, and basically this is from the recent Treasure Hunter promotion. It's currently not obtainable, but basically what it does is it gets you 7% more woodcutting success. It also retains the effects of Lumberjack outfit if you have that. Now I do not have this outfit, but I'm pretty sure you don't really need this outfit anyways, because the success rates are pretty high anyways here. So what I brought instead is the full Lumberjack outfit. And basically you get 5% more woodcutting XP. It's a temple trekking reward, so yeah, it may take a few tries to get, but it's well worth getting. Then I have the Augmented Crystal Hatchet, which will have Honed 5 perk, and it gives you 10% more woodcutting success. Then I have the Wise 3 perk, and it gives you 3% more XP. So the next thing I would suggest you bring is Necklace of Shadows. And when summoning familiars, it will not drain any summoning points. Then I bring Ring of Whispers, and it increases your woodcutting levels by 3 invisible levels. It also stacks with the Beaver as well. And then I also bring the Catalyst Fragment, which basically when you combine the 3 items I listed, you get a manifested shadow effect. And basically what happens is, every 4 minutes, a purple orb will spawn. And when you click on that purple orb, you'll gain 860 woodcutting XP at level 98. Now all 3 of these are from the Sliski's Endgame Quest reward. Unfortunately, I actually forgot I had these Sliski's Endgame that I listed, because yeah, I haven't really been playing my main account as of late. But anyways, it's not really that much of an XP per hour loss without these, so don't worry too much if you don't have it. A good alternative I'm using is Falador's Shield, which there's basically prayer bonus, and there's also a daily prayer restore you can use. It really comes in handy because, yeah, Light Form does drain a lot of prayer. Now because Crystallize uses Water Runes, you may also use Tome of Frost as another alternative, but then again, Water Runes are very very cheap, so having the higher prayer bonus actually helps better than this. So the aura I have is Lumberjack Aura, and I'm using Tier 1 which is basically 3% woodcutting success. You don't really need that here because yeah I told you, these have pretty high success rates at high levels. And then finally I would wear prayer bonus gear. Things include Dragon Rider Amulet, Armadale Gloves, Max Cape, God Book, Ring of Death, or Elf City Quiver. So for my inventory setup, I have a large rune pouch. And basically you can buy it from the GE or get it from Bounty Hunter minigame, which is a PvP minigame. You can only store three types of runes, so I store the three of the crystallized runes, and I leave the water runes in my inventory. Then I have super prayer renewals as well as prayer potions, because yeah, like I said, light form drains a lot of prayer. I also have beaver pouches, which give you two invisible woodcutting levels. Now clan avatar is slightly better, then I also have a perfect juju woodcutting potion, and basically there's a 5% chance that you can cut two logs at once for a full XP. Each dose would last you one full hour, and Perfect Plus Potion gives you this full effect for a total of 4 hours. Unfortunately, the double logs does not actually double the reputation, but I'm not sure whether it's a bug or it's actually intentional. Then I have the Urn Enhancer, although I do not have that right now because I accidentally destroyed it, but it increases your XP from teleporting the urns by 25%, and it uses 30 charges each. And finally, I fill the rest of my inventory with decorated woodcutting urns. And for anyone who doesn't know, you can now auto-teleport the urns by going to your game settings and then toggling it. 
So I'm just going to explain in detail how Crystallize works. So first, you hit Crystallize from your spellbook, and then you target a nearby tree. The tree will then look crystal for 30 seconds, and every time you cut the tree, you'll get 50% more XP, but you won't get any logs. Now this can be bumped to 87.5% more XP with the Light Form Prayer. So yeah, here's my strategy. You want to crystallize a nearby tree and then chop it. Nowadays, crystallize has a buff bar, so you always watch the buff bar and immediately crystallize the tree as soon as it expires. This is because basically it decreases the chance of the tree being depleted. Cause yeah, trees are fairly spread out as you can see. So you just want to avoid running as much as possible. In this video, I didn't have to run at all. In comparison to crystallized teaks, it's actually faster than crystallized teaks. And Acadian trees are nearly 100% success rate using my woodcutting buffs. Now, like I said, I did not even unlock tier 8 reputation here. Teaks are 250k XP per hour base. And it's also easier to get to this place, since there are no trading sticks required, and there's also a bank nearby if you have the VIP area unlocked. So let's compare the arc woodcutting. It's basically faster than golden bamboos. Bamboos require 95 woodcutting. Bamboo is also free, because yeah, crystallize is very expensive these days. Bamboo is also very very AFK as well, and you can also get chimes, which is also another comp cape requirement. So I'm just going to compare crystal trees. Well, crystal trees are very, very AFK, but they're very slow compared to today's standards. Because, like, I mean, we have arc woodcutting, and we also have crystallized teaks as well. And it also requires 94 woodcutting, so the lower level players can't access this. Now, in comparison to Divine Yu's, Gobi Bands, and Evil Elder Trees, so basically, it's slightly faster than Evil Elder Trees. It's slower than Gobi Bands and Divine Yu Trees, but then again, both of them have a limiting factor. So I would really recommend doing this daily unless you want to rush woodcutting. So here are my XP boosts. The Lumberjack outfit gives me 5% more XP. The Wise 3 perk gives me 3% more XP. Now there's also another 5% XP buff, and that is coming from the Menaphos promotion. It only lasts until August 2017 however, so after this event is over, it may or may not come back again. While I don't have the Urn Enhancer, but it also gives you 25% more XP when you're teleporting the urns. So overall in one hour, I gained 282k woodcutting XP based on the XP tracker. I consumed 12 woodcutting urns. Now obviously you're not going to have access to all these XP multipliers, so I'm just going to factor out the Menophos bonus and the Wise 3 perk. This will then give me 262k woodcutting XP per hour. The reputation you get per hour is 5.7k. It also costed me 600k GP worth of crystallized runes. Because yeah, as you notice, soul runes are actually quite expensive, even with the soul altar. Because yeah, the soul altar is pretty slow at crafting soul runes. So as for invention item XP, this would be 28.3k. Therefore it would take you 2 hours and 54 minutes to get a level 12 crystal hatchet. So based on my calculation, this would get you 215k XP per hour invention, if you were to use crystal siphons. And basically crystal siphon is an item that makes your crystal tool give you the tier 90 siphon effect. However, it's very very expensive, so I do not recommend this at all. Now if you're using regular siphons, this would give you tier 70 siphon, which is 150k XP per hour invention. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If I missed anything, feel free to ask.